I get comments on almost every single one of my dessert videos asking if the recipe can be made without protein powder. I understand a lot of people don't have access to it. Maybe they can't afford it. They don't want to buy it. Their parents won't let them buy it, etc. Or maybe we just want desserts without protein powder every once in a while. You guys have asked and of course I've listened. So I've made dessert recipes without protein powder that are just as high in protein and just as delicious. And in this video, we've compiled a few of my favorites. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Amanda, aka Fit Food AE. And today we're gonna to be making three high protein, low calorie desserts without protein powder. So if you're excited to see me make these recipes, please give this video a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends as it really helps the channel and I post new videos every week. And with that, let's get started. So the first recipe are gonna be chocolate chip cookies without protein powder. These are so soft and gooey and they only require one bowl to make. So super easy, you guys are gonna love this. So you may be wondering, without protein powder, how exactly are these desserts gonna be high in protein? Well, non-fat Greek yogurt is the most important ingredient in this recipe. It's super high in protein and low in calories. These cookies definitely have a bit more of a softer texture than some of the other cookies recipes that I've made, but they're not spongy or like cakey or anything like that. Like with a lot of my other cookie recipes, I recommend that you put the dough in the fridge for like 30 minutes to an hour or so before you actually put the cookies onto the tray and bake them. This is because we don't want the dough to spread out. So putting in the fridge makes the cookies like have more of a round cookie shape without spreading out. You guys know I love my Lakanto products. So this recipe uses brown monk fruit by Lakanto, basically zero calorie substitute for brown sugar. If you don't have that on hand, of course you could use regular brown sugar or any other brand, but I do have a discount code for Lakanto and that is FIT15. I use oat flour in this recipe. Honestly, I don't remember why I use oat flour instead of all purpose flour. I think I tested it with all purpose flour and it didn't work out as well. So make sure to use oat flour. If you don't have that on hand, you can just like grind up oats, make flour. So after you bake them for the allotted amount of time, they're still gonna be kind of soft, but, but not to fret because cookies actually do this thing where they continue to bake after you take them out of the oven. Crazy, I know. And now we're all done. Try not to eat them all in one batch. But if you do, that's fine because they're only 50 calories each. So this next recipe we're gonna be making are cheesecake brownies. So believe it or not, I actually made this recipe for the first time in like 2020. Before I had a YouTube, before I had a TikTok, I just had Instagram. I wasn't even posting reels at the time. I was posting like static posts. And I made these brownies. They were really, really good. And I realized that they didn't have protein powder in them. Like I just made this recipe and then realized that I hadn't added protein powder but they're super high in protein and low in calories either way. They are pretty sweet because you add the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, which by the way is a zero calorie substitute for sugar. If you want them to be more sweet, you can also add in chocolate chips if you want. I personally always love things to be more sweet, but even I was fine without the chocolate chips in this recipe. So when you're combining the cheesecake layer together, as you can see, I didn't have any sort of like whisk or electric mixer or anything like that. So I just used a fork. I did film this recipe a while back before I bought my electric mixer. But if you do have one of those on hand, those are great for mixing together layers like this. It just gets rid of all the chunks. So as you can see, I top the chocolate layer with the cheesecake mixture and sort of like swirl it around. There's no perfect science to this. Just do it any way you can. As you can see, I used a circular pan and then I ended up cutting the brownies into triangles, which was super creative on my part, but this works just fine with like a square or rectangular pan. When you're baking them, the cook time can be a bit finicky depending on your oven. So just make sure to stick a fork through the batter and then if it comes out clean, then they're done. The macros in these brownies are so good. I honestly can't believe they're 100 calories each.
Anyways, now we're done and you can go ahead and enjoy. So the last recipe in this video is going to be Funfetti Dunkaroo Dip. Now I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, my parents would never or like almost never buy me Dunkaroos. The only times I would try them would be at friends' houses or if I like traded them in the lunchroom at school. People at my school were super crazy about that no double dipping rule, but if I make this for you and we share it, you can double dip. I won't be mad. The actual dip part of this recipe only has three ingredients, which is super convenient. One of those being Lakanto powdered monk fruit. So this is a zero calorie substitute for powdered sugar. So I just made this recipe today and I actually whipped out the electric mixer because the first couple times I've made it in the past, because I made this recipe like a couple years ago, like a different variation. I just used like a spoon or a fork to mix it together and whipping it with the electric mixer made it turn out so much better. It's more like whipped with like a frosting texture, if that makes sense. So if you have one of those, definitely use it, but otherwise a spoon will work just fine. If you do use a spoon though, I'd recommend just like keeping the dip in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour before enjoying it. Now I topped it with some sprinkles to give it that fun fatty look. You could also top it with some crushed graham crackers. And believe it or not, guys, the grocery store actually still sells Dunkaroos, like the actual packaged Dunkaroos, as you can see here. I was shocked. Like I ordered my groceries on Instacart, put in Dunkaroos. It said that it was in stock, but I was like, who knows? I was actually able to enjoy this by dipping the actual Dunkaroo cookies into it, which was crazy. Very nostalgic experience. And now you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed these recipes, then I'm sure you're looking for other recipes without protein powder. So I'll link a couple of videos here that you should watch next. And please give this video a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends as it really helps the channel and I post new videos every week. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.